Hi, uh, good evening. My name is Kyle McCarthy, and I did my project on uh, baseball analytics, and specifically the money ball theory. About me a little bit. Um, uh, this is my second semester here at Wake Tech, uh, and uh, I'm currently, I was fortunate enough to get acquire an internship, a part-time internship with a company called Beyond ROI, and uh, I'm anticipating my business intelligence certificate this, at the end of the semester. So what is Moneyball? Uh, Moneyball th theory basically suggests that um, through analysis, low budget teams can purchase assets that are undervalued by uh, higher budget teams. And uh, it was created by the Oakland A's in 2002. And uh, there's no salary cap in baseball for all those who don't know. So they can, baseball teams can shell out as much money as they want for any, basically the best players. And uh, so it's very difficult for poor teams to keep up. So uh, the Oakland A's started looking, looking at more undervalued predict predictor variables versus the, uh, the uh, overvalued predictor variables. So uh, the overvalued player versus the undervalued player. I'm sure everybody's heard, heard of uh, Derek Jeter, uh, shortstop team captain. His uh, batting average is 310, slugging percentage 4, uh, 440, and uh, on base is 377. His salary, however, is 12 million versus uh, Lucas Duda of the New York Mets. His batting average is only, it's a little less than Derek Jeter's, which is 247. The slugging pen per percentage is even higher than his, is uh, 452, and on base percentage is 373. But his salary is only 4 million. So let's look at the overvalued predictor, its batting average. So uh, traditionally, teams use batting average as uh, to help select players, and um, basically higher batting averages, higher runs scored. And uh, the Oakland A's basically were able to find, and I was able to test this through my regression model, that uh, <clears throat> batting average predicts about 68% of the variability in uh, runs scored. The undervalued predictive vari variables, which is on base percentage and uh, slugging percentage. Basically, the Oakland A's were able to figure out through analysis that uh, these, value, uh, these variables were very undervalued as far as uh, the way teams were selecting players and whatnot. And um, basically, uh, through regression, I was able to test this model. And uh, I did all this through uh, R. And uh, I, I was able to predict that um, on base percentage and slugging percentage predict about 92% of the variability in uh, run scored, so a much higher percentage. And um, Essentially, the uh, Oakland A's were able to figure out through analysis that um, if they scored 135 more runs than they allowed throughout the entire season, they would make the playoffs. So essentially, they were, test they were using regression to predict runs scored and runs allowed. And um, I kind of have these listed. The run scored is best predicted by on-base percentage and slugging percentage. Runs allowed is best predicted by opposing team on base percentage and opposing team slugging percentage. And um, the uh, opposing team sl uh, slugging percentage and opposing team on base percentage predict about 90% of the variability and uh, runs allowed. So it gives you a very good estimate on. So um, conclusion, basically, uh, analytics helps teams win while saving money. If you look all the way there on the left-hand side, that's where the Oakland A's were in 2002 but um, they had one of the better records in baseball, 103 and 59. Thank you.